And welcome back to Let's Play Wasteland 3. Now, I have to go to load game. I've been a naughty boy. I've started a second game. <gasps> because I actually really enjoy playing this game. And I don't want any of you to miss out on my uh, uh, Let's Play game. So I made a new one. And uh, let's just say there's a few things I missed that I can go back to in this uh run i haven't gone any further than this point that we're at in this game which leads me to the where we left off we left off after killing a bunch of corrupt dudes we killed corrupt dudes because they were corrupt and now we have to find somebody in the back room that we've now been allowed access to in Little Vegas. Oh no, the frames, they're dropping. You know what, I don't even care because when I check back on the video after the recording and all that hassle I went through the last stream with this, everything seemed fine. Um, but yes, as you may remember, I ended up having to reload and redo the fight just before this because I tried to open up these crates and I wasn't exactly paying attention to what the guy was saying about don't open the crates and got into a fight with these guys in it and I didn't want to do that. So, I reloaded, redid the fight, come out of it looking a little bit better than I went in. Hey, Liam, how you doing? Welcome to the street. Um cheeky little note i did go back to the machine shop uh where we found um mctavish <laughs> oh, that, that, oh man mctavish oh he's a boy any and um i picked up some armor actually um i need to find it now who has it ah yeah marshall kwan uh, ended up finding a bunch of stuff in there that I missed because guess what? I am pretty good this evening. Thank you, Liam. Uh, pretty good. I have discovered how to highlight items in a room. It's the shift key. Where in every other game that I've played like this, it's the alt key. In this one, it's the shift key. Everybody, disco down. So, I'm actually able to find stuff I couldn't before. So, once I've done this bit, I'm going to go back and do a few bits that I missed, that I found in the cheeky second playthrough that I'm playing. So, uh, let's, uh, let's investigate what we're doing here, because I've waffled on enough. I believe I must be able to go through this door. Oh shit, tell me he ain't dead. Oh, a fucking chainsaw. Oh dear, an uncomfortable chair. That must have been some haircut. We've got a large container here. Let's do a quicky chicks chick save. A chick save. They are chick saves from here on out. Ooh, we got some stuff. Okay, we've got something that allows us to increase our sneaky shit by one. We've got a couple of machine turrets, which um. I'm going to give to... Quan, because he is my mechanic at the moment. Um, at some point, I do want to get back to Ranger Station, because one thing I haven't tried but have noticed is I'm able to retrain some people, and I might try and retrain some of these peeps to try and... Um, yeah, just organize it a little bit better, you know. And, um, because I reckon Butterfly would be better with a sniper rifle, if I'm honest. But check out this freaking helmet, man. Look at that. I mean, what the hell, man? <laughs> we go deep diving with some reds. Oh, boy. Right, anyway, what else have we got in this room? Boink. So we've got an uncomfortable chair. We've got a locked room. Requires lock picking five. And I believe Butterfly may have just gone up another level. Yes. Yes, she has. 
So let's increase butterflies intelligence uh, I have also learned that there is a couple of things in this game that aren't actually the same as they were in Wasteland 2 namely how intelligence works in Wasteland 2 intelligence would increase the amount of skill points you get per level all the time however in this game for each attribute that you place into intelligence, you get one extra skill point to use. But when the next level comes around and you don't put a point in this, you go back to only having three skill points to... Allocate. That's the word I was looking for. So, yes. Uh, quite interesting uh, how that works. I'm increasing my lock picking to six. Because I think there was somewhere that required six in lock picking. I still have that one perk remaining. Uh, because I wanna, I wanna put it into that. But I'm actually thinking I might get the increased detection time because apparently sneaky shit can be quite good. I've done a lot of reading on this game or looking up videos, but I'm still not sold. Hey, look, pick lock requires six. Oi, oi. Okay, we got a Tommy gun. Of course, we'd find one of those. <gasps> a Flammenwerfer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got a Flammenwerfer. And it is fully loaded. Uh, what we've got here? Rad Tech Armor. Plus six requires four strength, a Merc helmet, and Merc armor. We're going to loot all of that. Now, I should be able to equip that with no downsides. Uh, look at me. I think we might turn that off. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad, I guess. Oh, right. Who else's armor can we upgrade? That's four. Looks like Crash is getting an upgrade. Turn the helmet off on that one. That doesn't the helmet doesn't affect Quan much on there. Okay. Okay. Grenade box. Molotov cock. Tail. And we can pick this lock as well. Probably could have done it via the computer. I don't think there was any need to undo that. Uh. Alrighty then. Inspector Delgado. Let's do a quickie chick, chick save. That's it, they're chick saves from now on. Inspector Delgado. This clean-cut marshal looks like he's in his mid-thirties. His honest, open face gives him the appearance of a man in the prime of his life. Hey, Delgado. Bet you thought Daisy forgot all about you. Quan. I figured anyone coming for me would have to shoot their way in. How'd you get past Brigo's crew? We found out that McTavish was working with the Dorseys and we cut a deal with Brigo. McTavish? <laughs> that son of a bitch. Good. Good for you. You know, I had a feeling it was one of Brigo's people. How did you get captured? I've been keeping an eye on Brigo for a while. He's a survivor. Likes to play both sides to make sure he always wins. After the Dorsey raid, I started asking questions about the club. Well, I guess I got too close to the truth. They grabbed me, dragged me in here and locked the door. Took my weapon and everything. Good thing you came along. Did they hurt you at all? No, they know better than to hurt a marshal. Though, after all this, I'm starting to think maybe I should have known better. And don't tell my wife I said that. <laughs> well, what are you going to pay me to keep quiet? <laughs> Quan, always the kidder. 
You are kidding, right? Pay up, Sonny. <laughs> Don't worry, Delgado. Your secrets are safe with me. Head for the door when you're ready. Right. Thanks again. And we did it without bloodshed. Yep. Save. We can't open any of the stuff, but we can go in here. Okay. Okay, we've got some jitter and red rooster ciggies. Ammo. We've got in the locker. Oh, the gangster's guide to diction. This cassette is labelled only a drawing of a man wearing a mafia outfit. The text says, cool guy. Toast. Quick slot item. Each restore con and plus one AP for 90 turns. Jesus. Hey, what's the matter? You want to join the outfit, but you ain't got the lingo? Well, congrats, jabroni, because you come to the right date. The Gangster's Guide to Diction got everything you need to know. It don't matter if you're a bag man or a button man. We'll have you talking like a made man in no time. So grab a cannoli and pull up a chair. And let's get you mobbed up. And now we know how to talk gangster. And hello to you, L. How far art thou? Right, let's get out of this club because we've got a few places. Oh, actually, actually, there is a, a, a couple of things I can do Arabaho here first. Convo you stowed away on an Arapaho convoy? Oh my god, tell me everything. Uh, uh, it was. Uh, 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 any luck? First of all, I never gave Shakes his. Uh, Did you have my five rhino and five focus? Uh, yeah, but getting it was tougher than we thought. We're gonna need to get paid. What? Well, that, well, that wasn't... You never said anything about m money. <laughs> Hard ass. Well, now we are. And if we don't get it, <laughs> we'll keep the goods. And you'll die shaking. You have needs. We have needs. Let's take care of each other, okay? Let's go with the barter route. Fine! Bunch of assholes! This is all I have! Now, get out of my way! It's just a little, it evened me out. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> well, to let you know, El, it's not gin. Um, it is actually good old fashioned water. Now, if we go in here. But his wife just stares at you like you thought you couldn't work tonight, Darlene. That's uh, fine. I got a sitter. Oh, Quan, it's you. Hey, there we go. Uh, this is the most beautiful woman you've ever met. She puts a hand to her chest the moment she sees Quan. Um, uh, uh, hi, Ten. Good, good to see you. Quan is blushing like a rose. I, I, I'm so happy you're back. I've missed you so much. Can, can you stay? Well, I'll tell you the reason why it's blue is because it's in a big blue bottle. If you look in the middle, you can kind of see the clear. It's slightly more clear. Ugh. Yeah, I'm uh, kind of on duty. Maybe uh, s some other time. <laughs> he looks at the rest of you. <laughs> yeah, unless you all want to take a break for a while. You two seem to be old friends. Friends? <laughs> well, I uh, hope we are. Of course we are, Quan. You are my dearest friend. My island of peace. I still have to pay you, though. <laughs> How real a friendship is that? It's as real as it can be. More real than it should be. You say that, but do you mean it? Let me prove it to you. <laughs> God, go on, Quan. We'll show ourselves out, and it's on us, whatever it costs. R really? That's 
Thank you so much. Uh, you might want to get yourselves a drink or play some blackjack. I'm going to be a while. He turns to the Ten of Hearts. Ten? I, uh... Oh, Quan, it's been so long. <laughs> I'm... I'm melting. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Please he hit come you back, with you. okay? <laughs> oh, Please? boy. He hit you with his energy gun. Oh! <laughs> Paris uh. is back tonight, Joy. He was asking for you. Ugh. Right. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Uh, see because this club, th Rangers, your VIPs around here. Oh, man, I love hey, you. we're VIPs now. Look at that. There's a couple of things I can do here. I need to go back to the lady that gave us the quest to get Irv out of her apartment. And there's a couple of things I can do while I'm there as well. I can also get, uh, oh, what's his name? Um, I can't remember his name. There's a guy called, uh, th there's a vendor that has a microwave and I should be able to get that working now as well. Uh, are you ready to travel to the Sans Lux Apartments? Oh, yes. That is a comfy looking bed. Not. Hello, Rosie. Any word on the loony in number three yet, Rangers? Well, maybe. We found Irv and he won't be coming back. You, clear, uh, uh, you can clear out his room now. It's about time. Gonna take me a week to clean up that mess. What was his deal anyway? He's a clone, and he was afraid of being found and arrested, so he hid in his room and made other clones for friends. Ah, oh, that's kind of sad. What did you do with him? Uh, we invited him to join us at Ranger HQ. He's going to work in our medical lab. Well, how about that? I'm glad to hear it. Never wished the poor man ill, just didn't want him here. Thank you, Rangers. Here's a little something for taking care of the problem and tying it up in a pretty bow. So long. Ah, oh, my sciatica. Oh, See, those level ups. Right. Yeah, we can repair this now. Let's get in. Cyborg chicken. While sickly and starved looking, the chicken is also unexpectedly spry. For some reason, half of its head is shelled in metal, and cybernetic parts are implanted in its body. Animal Whisperer 3, hey, come with us if you want to live. It hops diagonally away from you, feathers fluffed, and eyes wide with shock. But it does not take long before the chicken decides you worthy of cooperation and begins following your lead. So we have a cyber chicken. We have an ice axe. Which we can give to a butterfly. For now. Actually, that will allow us to gain that perk. Because now butterfly is using two weapons. I can actually pick up a perk now. And the question is, what do I go for? <laughs> Powder Packer. Your entire party finds plus 25% bonus ammo when looting. At a minimum of plus one. Uh, even the toughest tough guys can be sensitive about their appearance. Insult your enemies, distract them, and reduce their chance to hit by 20%. And critical chance by minus 25%. Applies demoralized. Um, I actually might take that one. No, oh, I ain't got any perks from him yet. Oh, I'm a fool of a toque. I'm a fool. <sighs> Perk points remaining one. Buying multiple items instead of just one provides a 20% discount. Yes, please. Skills. We are not going to increase your weapons modding, Lucia Wesson. However, I think... Um, do 
might want to bump her survival up. We might get some survival options in uh, some talky talks. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's fuck around and find out, shall we? Okay. Uh, 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 not going to bother increasing. Increasing. I'm not going to increase the where uh, the awareness just yet. Speed though, get uh, a little bit closer. Let's go with those changes. Skills. I've got two in hard ass from items. I mean, that's mad, isn't it? That's totally insane, right? Oh my god. I'm gonna increase leadership, right? I'm gonna bump charisma up. Oh yeah. Uh, I think that's going to be it for that. Confirm. Yes. Armor crypt. We've got some rad tech pants. Another rad tech helmet. Oh, chance. Let's check out this, actually, because... Well, that's armor plus six, so we're going to leave that as is, because the rad tech helmet is only plus four. Alrighty. I need to check armor modding. Tender loving care. Oh, have eight armor while this is present. Okay, so we can. Oh, we can't actually break down armor. Okay, so I can just sell that then. Good to know. Good to know. Once the rifle does eight to ten, this does ten to twelve. Owned by Marshall Kwan. Uh, requires big guns. I can break this down. Build strip. Crap, I need to make sure I didn't... Uh, I don't think I have to have my character selected specifically. Maybe I do. I do have that perk, and I? I can't remember what I've got with these guys. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, field strip the Tommy gun. And I don't have anybody with weird science. I mean, I would like to field strip the frozen ferret launcher. I don't know. I don't know yet. I, I, I'm wondering if I should actually get somebody with... Uh, uh, Brain melting. Ah, uh, and it's come. No. I'm wondering if I should get somebody with a certain something, but I just can't seem to think of it right now. Now, did I make sure I looted everything in here? Because I'm not entirely sure I did. Nope, there was a safe. Ah, yes, it required level 6 lock picking, Which I have now. Ah, the shrink grenade. We've got an M1911. A reflex scope. I cannot believe my brain just completely and utterly deleted the entire bit that I was going to talk about. It just, it's just gone. It's gone. This is what happens when you get older, folks. Or when you're not completely paying attention to your own brain. We don't have anybody with toaster repair. Now, toaster repair, that's an interesting one, actually. Because you can actually get some pretty decent items out of toasters that I've discovered. Because I actually have a character with it in my second playthrough. And uh, in that particular toaster, you end up getting a... It's, it's, it's like a lance weapon or something. It's proper big and explodey. Um, ah, right. Now, if you may recall, uh, I will go out there in a moment, actually. Now, I need to do something weird here. I need to select one person. I'm sure they could use my help. Cat, you need to go all the way over here. No, actually, it probably would have been better if I sank Quan. What's he got? Oh, yeah, ace in the hole. Ah, uh, that's right. <laughs> he got booty. 
Right, now, if I pull this lever... Here's what I didn't notice the first time I pulled this lever. Is you've got these little sparks that go along here. And then, boom. They end up here. However, took me a little while to figure out that I actually need somebody here to witness that. <laughs> so, Quan can fix that with his mechanics. And there we go. We've made his day. Aren't we nice people? We might be able to talk to him about that now. Thanks for getting the power hook back up to my microwave. I've got some real treats I couldn't sell without it. Power line must have gotten busted up in the fighting. Yeah, I don't need anything from you. I don't want nothing from you. Nothing! Now, in here, you notice, can't do anything. The displays are inactive. Nothing happens. Now, there's this over here that we can activate. But this isn't what fixes everything, because this will merely open this door here. And I'm going to loot everything in here, and then I'm going to kick off the real fun. Med hypo. Worm in form maldehyde. <laughs> Crafting component. A jar of formaldehyde containing a large worm like creature with a clawed tail and gaping mouth. A boldly designed label reads Fetal, s fetal Slide Rock Bolter. You decide. And we've got a burn book and some cash. Got an ammo box. Oh, flame of fuel. We have a, a cassette tape. The new tour introduction, version one. Greetings, visitors. My name is Junko Murayama, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Saul Buchanan Colorado Heritage Museum. You're about to embark on a journey through history as we share with you the people and events that made Colorado what it is today. Our new and improved animatronic exhibits will bring history to life as you learn about the rise of the Patriarch, the unification of the Hundred Families, and their battles against the Monster Army and the Plains Gangs. The staff of the Colorado Heritage Museum asks that you do not interact with the exhibits. Ready? Let's go! Oh boy, I had too much fun with that. Okay, so we've got the Brainwave Destabilizer as a laser weapon that requires a lot of weird science. <gasps> oh man, it's my lucky day. Another lab machine gun just for me. Oh, praise be. Oh, sweet buttery Jesus. Finally, I've got some decent equipment. <sighs> Right, we're going to field strip that shit. I've right, got a few bits and bobs now. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. <sighs> now, shall I tell you what gets this stuff kicked off? There's an electrical grid along here, actually, that I hadn't noticed before. That's interesting. Oh, I wonder if that is because... We need to press this switch here. Old Baldy. A mechanical eagle in a red, white, and blue top hat slumps on a rustic perch. Why, hello there. My name's Old Baldy. And this here is the Saul Buchanan Colorado Heritage Museum. Or, as I like to call it, home. Me and my friends here are dedicated telling the story of old Saul Buchanan and the refounding of the great state of Colorado, which is just the first step in Saul's plan to bring back the good old United States of America. Now, just uh, stroll from stage to stage and we'll tell you the story along the way. It's as simple as that. Okay. Any questions before you go? 
Yeah, we got some questions. Okay, so tell us Buchanan's story. Well, I don't want to spoil the show, but it begins with Saul's humble start in this very town. And it follows the trials and tribulations he faced uniting the hundred families, defeating the monster army, and bringing peace and security to Colorado. And in case you were worried, it's suitable for children of all ages. Oh, really? No, oh, I'll be allowed in then. <laughs> Okay, Animal Whisperer 2, Pet the Eagle. Oh, come on, Baldy, just tell us the story. Stop! Step back! It is against museum rules to fondle the displays. Okay, so we're not allowed to touch him. Did Buchanan make his museum, uh, make this museum for himself? Saul Buchanan is far too modest for such egotistical shenanigans. No, sir. It was the hundred families who built this place as a gracious thank you to the patriarch for all he's done for them. Okay, are you the American Eagle? Look just like my picture, don't I? Ah, wait a minute. Let me give you my good side. There you go. <laughs> I got to admit, though, I'm looking better than I was. <laughs> Life's been pretty tough on old Baldy since the world went to pot. Lost a lot of feathers. But now that Patriarch Buchanan's rebuilding America, I'm starting to feel like my old self again. And that's all we wanted to know, thanks. Great! Then on with the show! Youngest son of the Buchanan clan. Brave survivors of the fall of man. Baby Saul grew straight like a tree. Could swing a sledgehammer before he was three. Learned to read and write before he could walk. Finished all his schooling before he could talk. Showed all his teachers a thing or two. When he taught them that a fact didn't have to to be true. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man. The strongest of men. You can say that again. And we're going to hear that a lot. So, let's go. Where do we want to begin? Oh. Um. Let's go down over here. Then came the gangs of the Eastern Plains, hoping to rob us of our worldly gains. Paul saw song coming and he rolled up his sleeves. He said, you're all nothing but a pack of thieves. Strong as an ox at three score and ten, he faced down the savages again and again. Then drove them back to the desolate east and secured for Colorado an endless peace. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man. Truest of men, you could say that again. Oh boy, I hope you don't get that tune stuck in your freaking head like I did. Here we go again. The hundred families came to see you springs and all fell to fighting over frivolous things till saw raised their heads to the circling wings of the vultures who were waiting to die like kings. He said that the only way to save the land was to bury the hatchet and all shake hands. So they signed the treaty in a single day and begged him to lead them and show them the way. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man. The truest of men. You can say that again. Oh, oh, but there's two more. <laughs> With the families behind him, Saul went to war and fought all the monsters of Satan's bazaar. He lined them all up and he cut them all down to flap the inhaler, surrendered his crown. You can't spare flab and made him a deal. If your boys work for me, they'll never miss a meal. 
flat side up on the dotted line. Now his monsters keep us safe in the evening time. He's becoming a man. Oh boy, what a man. The truest of men. You can say that again. <laughs> oh, it's almost over, folks. It's almost over. One more to go. Stay with me. Well, the Dorseys thought they had a better idea. Believe they could rule by murder and fear. Tried to steal Colorado from our patriarch. But all Saul through his bite was worse than his part. Drove out the Dorseys and gave their land to the poor and the needy and the Indian. So mercy for the merciless was his stand. So he hunted the Dorseys to the very last man. Is Buchanan a man? So there you go, the story of Saul Buchanan, <clears throat> uh, traitor's weapon, the sword of Neelius Dorsey, who led his clan in an attempted coup against the Patriarch. Neelius and the Dorseys were defeated after a treacherous attempt on the Patriarch's life. Now they are no more. Uh, but that isn't quite true, is it? Oh. But did, did you all enjoy that? Did you all enjoy that? Oh, it was fabulous. <laughs> uh, I never want to go through that again. Right, anyway, on a more serious note, <laughs> we need to go and speak to Daisy. Uh, is murdered by Dorsey thugs. Weston family confirmed dead. Hey, yep. And I'm sure Lucia wants to be reminded of that every time she walks through the streets. Uh, wait, no, I need to go this way, don't I? Would you rather freeze to death or burn? I really do need to get back to the bloody HQ at some point to see what's going on there. Okay. What can I do for you, Rangers? Um, okay, Thanks. no. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a form. Oh, we will. Oh, dear. I don't think Sheriff Daisy's going to be happy with us, so I'm going to save it just in case there's a bit of a fight. Tell me it ain't true, Rangers. You worked out some kind of shady deal with Brigo? No, not really. Brigo wasn't responsible for the Dorsey attack. McTav McTavish was the real traitor. Bullshit. McTavish took the fall for his boss. Ain't no way Brigo isn't balls deep in this mess. No matter what he says. And what about the part where you killed that fat-ass Lipinski? He knew you'd let Brago off the hook, didn't he? Probably tried to stop you so you shot him dead. Uh, okay. We couldn't stand by and let him start killing people. We're deputized by the Patriarch. We don't need to explain ourselves to you. Bit of the hard line. Lipinski was looking for a fight. It was us or him. No. It was Brago or him. And you took the wrong side. I thought I was pretty clear about how all this was supposed to go down. Real clear. Easy now, Daisy. The Patriarch's invested a lot in these folks. You don't want to... Shut your hole, Quan. Don't make me ask you where you were when they shot Lipinski. Might have been an idiot, but he was still a marshal. Actually, he was a complete piece of shit, but uh, there you go. We're done here. I'll find some other way to take down your pal Brigo, and it won't include you. You know where to find the door. Oh no, we've got minus 15 reputation with the marshals. Oh, whatever shall we do? Uh, the problem is I did kind of help them get the armored stuff before coming here on this particular playthrough. It could hurt me later. But you know what? There are souls. And we got level ups. Let's go. So we've got some attributes for cat. Let's see what we can do here. Skillamans. Skillamans. I think we're going to increase melee combat and then probably bump up armor modding. Then we're gonna move to 
attributes to see what we can do. Oh my god, I'm really butchering this tune. <laughs> um, I'm going to put another point into speed because getting across the map is indeed the best thing we can do for this gal or person. Whatever. Oh god, I'm going to stop before I make myself... Sick. We're going to increase nerd stuff. Our nerd stuff is absolutely insane. Oh no. Where do I go now? Actually, I might put a point in intelligence. That might give us another skill point. Ah, oh, good stuff. Now I can boost sneaky shit. Well, I'll confirm that. Now, one thing I have uh, learned, actually, about pre-made, the pre-made character, the pre-made characters that I have, is they actually have um, special backgrounds, some have special items, because Thief and Hacker are not uh, pickable um, when you create uh, a character and picking the backgrounds. However, the, uh, the one of the biggest downsides is you can't choose a quirk, and I think quirks, despite having a negative, are too good not to have. Okay, where can we go with this dude? Uh, maybe come back to perks and if you can put them together, you can take them apart. Extra robot damage. Deployable... Gain plus 25% con and deal plus 25% damage. Ooh, might take that if I can remember to actually deploy shit. Uh, let's see what skills we can increase first. Let's bump mechanics up. And we'll get his kiss ass up a bit. Attributes. Another point in speed, I guess? It would be nice for him to be able to get around. Ah, okay, so we've got reinforced plane. Repairing vehicles and robots also boosts the target's max con by plus 33% for three turns. Not bad. I think I'll take this one. For now. Ploibles doing extra damage is always good. Apparently I'm live now, let's get on Gonna load up my phone just to make sure everything's okay We gotta make sure the stream's okay I know we got things down here that tell me everything's working, but you just never know unless you look properly.